Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have another Squad is Decay tutorial video for you guys. And so in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can create your own custom weapon. Um, that you can then assign to a role. Now, um, I haven't figured out everything um, yet, but um, so far everything works. It's just uh, the reload, um, there's something wrong with the reload where um, it plays the reload animation and stuff of my custom weapon but it doesn't like take out the magazine and stuff but um, I guess it's I just have to tinker around a bit more but I can show you guys the basic stuff on how you can get started to make your own custom versions of the M4 or the AK or whatever so with that said um, the first thing that you'll have to do if you don't have a folder called blueprints yet um, create one you can just right click and say new folder and just call it blueprints and inside of here um, create another folder called items and then in here create another folder called rifles and then create a folder with whatever you want to name your custom weapon so mine is just WM for Warmaster and then M4A1 and then in here I have these two blueprints. Now, um, for you guys to get them, um, just uh, it's easier if you like open a second content browser. And so, if you have it open, you go to the content and then uh, blueprints, and then you go to items, and then in here you'll see the. Um, there's pistols, there's melee, grenades, everything here. But um, we're gonna go into the rifles one. And in here you'll see there's a shit ton of different blueprints and this everything. So, but the only one that we are gonna really uh, look at is um, if you search for M4 A1, it should be this um, first one, but um, there's another one. That is, uh, let me see which one it was. Mm, I think it is this one, yeah. It's this um, first one. So what you will do is, you'll obviously select it and then drag it over and copy it here. Now I already have mine here, so um, you guys copy that one over. And then once you've done that, you'll see there's a static info blueprint here as well. And now to get that, uh, we're gonna uncheck the search thingy, and you'll see there's a folder called static info. And I go in here, and then again we're gonna search for M4A1, uh, M4A1, or oh, it's just called M4 here. But um, yeah, just copy this um, M4 classic static info. I copy that over also and then after you've copied it over rename it to yours so you know it's uh, your own custom one and then after that you can open your weapon <coughs> and we'll put it up here we'll open this one also so once you've opened both of them um, just go to open uh, full blueprint editor and then go to viewport you don't really have to go to viewport, but um, uh, and then here on the left you can see mesh, first person, mesh, and mesh, first person, and third person. So here is where you will actually now um, select which weapon you want to uh, set the static mesh as. So if you have your own custom weapon that you created, this is where you will um, choose the skeleton for it, and that's goes for the first and third person and so once you've done that um, click on this first um, self um, root thingy up here and up here you'll see there's a, a lot of different uh, stuff you can modify and change and whatnot but um, the main things that you'll have to focus on is um, if you scroll down uh, by default, by the projectile class, um, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it's um, there's something else here. But um, you have to change it to just this normal BP underscore projectile. And now, if you scroll down, 
uh, it should be this one or if you want to specify a specific um, millimeter or size of bullets or projectile you want to collect here you do it here um, but I just chose the normal projectile it will still work fine and then the only thing I checked here is the average fire rate and then allow zoom is on by default and then here is where you can also um, change like how many mags is the um, the weapon has how many uh, rounds does each mag have and then you can set it here allow round in chamber if you want that um, and then rounds between traces there's a lot of other different settings here you can change I haven't even checked all of them but um, they're here if you want to uh, modify them how you like and then here's a damage fall off curve as well you can if you want to modify this um, I would suggest you click on this browse to the specific one and then you duplicate it or copy it over into your mod folder and then um, put it under your gameplay and then create a folder called damage curves and you can put all of those in there and then modify the curve how you want to and so uh, let's just go back and then uh, let's just scroll down all of these you can leave as is um, uh, yeah I okay, can check that one I don't know what, why was that unchecked but anyway and here is a different other stuff that you can also change but um, I haven't really touch, touched much of this and so the main things that you can do is here um, is attachments and this is where you can now add fall grips, flipping different scopes, ACOGs, um, the grenade launcher, a um, bunch of different stuff. So this is where you do that and this is also where you can, you can add multiple attachments. And so we can just delete that because I only have the vertical grip on here for now. And so again there's more stuff you can <laughs> customize here um, believe me I think you it will take you flipping ages to go through all of those settings and change it how you want but um, that's something that you have to do with time and so by default I think there's no sounds here um, but um, if there if there's nothing here just make sure you set it to the C SC M4 first person semi and then the other one here for third person. As this is now, now this is just the semi-automatic sound for first person and third person. And then here by the item info, this is where we're now gonna set our um, static info blueprint that we have, um, so it uses ours. And um, so here, all I'm gonna mine is already set, but I'm just search for your mod name or your short name or whatever um, you named yours. To find it and then here is mine I'm going to select it again and this is also where you can name your weapon now I just named my warmaster uh, dash um, m4a1 and then you can put your item description in here and then rearm types allowed and this is where if you you can choose where you want your the specific weapon to be allowed to be rearmed so mine is selected by everything, so it's main, um, forward base, vehicles or ammo bags. And so I just left that as is, and then here you can set it to how much ammo, ammo per rearm item. So, yeah, and then here is where you can set um, your silhouette or your picture of the weapon for, this, for the HUD when it's selected, and then the HUD texture. And then here again there's a lot of <laughs> different settings here and now if we scroll down there's not much here you need to do but um, this old uh, animation system I don't think this works anymore I'm not sure but um, you don't do anything here and now once you've done that you can compile and now once you've compiled click save and then we can go into the static info blueprint and now 
here you'll see <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff here now by default these some of these are not set now what I did is um, if you copied over this m4a1 static info most of these animations should be already set for you but if you want to change them or if you add attachments like the vertical grip there is some animations you need to change here um, so it holds so it plays the correct animation for when you're holding it with a vertical grip your weapon um, same goes for when you're ADACing for ACOGs or optics everything you you um, you set here and so here is your um, reload montages your reload dry that means your magazine is completely empty and then this is your firing um, animations and then there's heap sway ADAs bipod there's different kind of stuff here this is you don't, you don't have to set this if you don't have a bipod um, attached to your weapon as an attachment and then this is the fire mode stuff and you guys can go through all of these um, but I'm not gonna go, go all of through all of them uh, just because I don't want to make the video too long and so if you go in through all of these you can set this on your own and um, yeah you guys can just go through here there's a different kinds of settings you can set here uh, like your muzzle flash effects uh, the shell ejection effect this is like the you can set which kind of shells you want to be ejected out of the weapon um, and then this is the fire shake so this is just how much you want I guess the weapon to shake um, when you shoot and mine is just on small and this is again where you can change your uh, the recoil there's just a ton of settings you can set here um, so I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit for you guys to see and this is also where you can set the default zeroing text now I have mine on zero but um, I have tested it and for some reason it's not working entirely but um, it might be something that I've, I'm doing wrong um, but I'm here so this is here and this is where where you begin with the sounds now where this is where you put all of your sounds when you when you ADS uh, when you fire when you reload when you're equipped or when you unequip by default these are not set um, but um, there is sounds for most of these already I don't know how it works but I, I, I I'm not sure if this overrides um, the default ones but um, yeah so Honestly, you guys could go through all of these. Uh, I don't want to make the video too long, but um, yeah, this is so. This is where you change all of the other uh, settings for your specific weapon. So I'm just gonna click save again. And so once you've done that, um, I'm quickly gonna show you guys. Um, now you have to go to your roles. So I'm gonna open my mod folder. Go to my gameplay teams roles. And this is my custom uh, roles that I've created for my War Monster USA. And so basically, what all I did is um, let's just search for a rifleman. And so basically, I just duplicated the the rifleman one, and I renamed it, uh, or just added my uh, <laughs> my War Monster at the end again. Um, and so I, if you open it, um, all I did is just change my primary weapon. To my War Monster Import A1, and so once you've done that, all you now, all you have to do now, is go um, to your. If I uncheck that, if you go to Gameplay Teams and then open your Team Info, and then all you do is you add a roles here, and then it will add one on the bottom, and then all you do is you select that role that, uh, that you've duplicated or then changed. And then you can save and close all of these and then when you click play uh, click continue and so yeah you guys see rifleman 2 that's uh, I just I just named with rifleman 2 
And then, as you guys can see, it's he it doesn't have that laser sight on the side. It just has my vertical grip, and um, it's just no, it's just iron sights. So if I didn't click spawn, there as you can see, this is my weapon. And then there on the right of the screen, if I make this a bit bigger, yes, yeah, you guys can see uh, there is my custom name that I set to my weapon. And I can shoot. Um, now iron sight is a bit uh, not working entirely, but um, yeah, that's how you guys can uh, start to create your own um, custom weapon. And so you guys can just go and through and customize everything how you want to. Um, but um, this is just a video to show you guys how you can guys how you guys can get started. Uh, in making your own custom weapons and um, yeah if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down and also remember to subscribe if you haven't already share the video with your friends and um, also make sure you click that bell icon so you guys get notified when i upload the videos and i'll see you guys in the next one